Oh boy, time now for another episode of Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics and continuing on with the Blue Beetle. Gee, what's he up to now? Um, some guy's shooting at him. Now get off that train. You didn't pay the ticket. Uh, anyway, smashing down on the underworld rackets comes the Blue Beetle. Made almost invulnerable by special armor and given super energy by vitamin 2X. He crusades for law and justice. None know that in reality he is Dan Garrett, a rookie policeman. Panic breaks out in the city. Because Dan Garrett's a rookie policeman or because he's the Blue Beetle or something else. Hey, let's find out. Dan spots trouble. Look at that, Mike. Well, I'll be... I can't stand this. Help, please. Kill him. <laughs> Good Lord. Somebody do something. Oh. Joan Mason in the hands of a gorilla. Arr, arr. We can't miss, Mike. On side. Yeah, probably better not let Mike take the shot, you know. Uh, anyway, he's weakening now. Look. Uh, good, he dropped John. Well, I guess because they shot him several times. Uh, uh. It's coming for us now. Keep firing, stupid. Hold on, Mike. Uh, Dan. <laughs> Dan kicks desperately at the gorilla. Yeah, it's all over for Dan. Um... I guess, you, well, hey, look, it's the bullets that uh, took out that, you know, so it was weaker. I don't know. But the Dan tries the eyeball trick. <laughs> I learned this from the Three Stooges, but you're doing it wrong. Um, uh, if he rushes us again, we're lost. Yeah, you sure are. We can't leave or he'll go after the people. Uh, what? Oh, hey, guys. Uh, I guess I... Shouldn't drink so much. Um, oh, come on. I mean, I guess his vitamin 2X gives him the strength for this. Uh, I'll give him one for you. Uh, that's okay, Dan. You don't really have to. Well, what a crack that beast gave me. Oh, did he? No, he didn't. Oh, well. I guess it was off panel. I'll have to hold on. Uh, oh my god. Oh, his armpit stench. Uh, uh. Dan starts throwing up. But anyway, a hand presses a hypodermic into the gorilla's arm. Um, oh man, this is so badly done sequentially. I, I guess that's Dan. Thanks to you. Okay, I guess gotta read it the backwards way. I'm Dr. Krug. <laughs> The gorilla will be harmless now. Thanks to you. Yes, I had some dope ready to go. I didn't think you policemen were brave enough to fight a gorilla, but now I know differently. We're American policemen. We're American policemen. You mean policemen, but uh, okay. Anyway, take care of our playmate, boys. We will. Don't like the sound of that. Well, anyway, so uh, Joan's fine, and she got her hat back. See you later, Dan. But uh, she's leaving with Dr. Krug. Well, he is a doctor, after all. So, you know, he's got better prospects than these guys. Anyway, goodbye, officer. Funny bird, that duck. Yes. Hmm. He's just jealous because he rode off with your girl. So now he's just going to assume he's a villain. So anyway, the gorilla is taken to the police station. <laughs> it wouldn't be. <laughs> they wouldn't take him to the police station. Anyway, a moment later, wham, bam, I am a man. Speak, Bill. That gorilla, he. Dan hurries to Dr. Fred's drugstore. I'm getting the shakes. I need another shot of vitamin 2X. Who will see how long? Oh, wait. 
Wuxtry. Oh, God. Read about the mysterious explosion. We'll see how long it can be mysterious. Um... Uh, do I read it backwards again? I don't know. I've got a hunch. This explosion is just the beginning of something, Dr. Friends. It's the beginning of an explosion. Uh, and damn. Anyway, I'll have your vitamin 2X in a minute, Dan. Flash! Five police stations mysteriously blown up after the capture of Gorilla. Boy, this gorilla's got some serious connections. Who'd have thought? Anyway, I'm off to find the man behind this mystery. Your hunch was right. Blue Beetle. Mm, wow, look at that. Mm, mm. Right, that's enough of creepy friends. Here we go. They just love to show scenes of him playing around on rooftops. Just waste time. He needs to get a Beetle Mobile. Anyway, I'll drop over to Joan Mason's first. Maybe she learned something from that smooth talking doctor. How she caught how oh how was she caught by the gorilla in the first place? Do I do I even want to know? Cause uh, what did the gorilla have to do with the police station? They brought it to the police station, don't you remember? You and Mike helped catch it. Yeah, whatever. That wire has some snap. <laughs> oh God. I ought to be at Joan's son. What a waste of paper. This is utterly meaningless. <laughs> Here we are. Looks as though I came just in time. She hasn't even got her panties on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'll tell. I'll burn your eyes out. Hold on, Joan. <laughs> hey, what the... In just a minute. Let go. <laughs> That's what you get for attacking a single helpless woman. Uh, uh. Not so helpless. Look out, Blue Beetle. I'll... And he falls into his own little hatchet, you know, right into his skull. Yeah, pretty gruesome. But, hey... Don't mess with Blue Beetle's goyle. Anyway, what's your hurry? You're not going anywhere. Uh, well, he's going under your foot. So anyway, but you are mug to the cemetery. Pardon my elbows. <laughs> well, anyway, neither of you will be alive to tell the tale. A bomb. Oh, it's Dr. Krug. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I guess Blue Beetle was right. It wasn't just jealousy. He was a sinister guy. Dr. Krug, I mean Krug, <laughs> escapes before the explosion. Well, I would think so. I don't think he intended to blow himself up. But anyway, wham! Uh, but, oh, look, they went out the window. But uh, Blue Beetle used Joan as cover. <laughs> oh, we're lost. Hold on, not yet. We're, you know, still by your building, so we're not completely lost. We know where we are. Anyway. It's giving way. How's this for a landing? On the roof of a moving automobile. They escaped the bomb, but they won't escape us. Blue Beetle, they're chasing us. Yeah, I know, but don't worry, Joan. Uh-oh. I must keep Joan from hitting the ground. I, I, <laughs> I thought about landing on her, but, you know, I got this armored suit, and I've already used her as, as a shield from debris from the explosion, so it's probably the gentlemanly thing to do is to uh, cushion her fall, you know. But, oh, well, he hit his head and passed out, so now she's captured again. Now, with the blue beetle out of the way... I can go ahead with my plan to destroy the city. <laughs> oh, look, it's Dr. Strangelove. Uh, at my headquarters, I'll show you everything that you were snooping around for. My porn stash. Before you die, at Dr. Krug's headquarters, my pets are coated with dynamite, which goes off at a set time. <laughs> Jeez. 
Oh, you monster! I'll send my dynamite pets to blow up key points of the city. Move in with my men and... It's impossible! The sign of the blue beetle! Well, you just left him in the road, stupid. So, it's not all that impossible. So anyway, here he comes again. Nothing is impossible where the blue beetle is concerned. All right, Dr. Krug. Dr. Krug presses a secret device. I just happened to be there. And he just happened to be in the right spot. Bon voyage to the black pit, blue beetle. <laughs> Jeez. I'll have to work fast to get out of this. Ah, a grip. <laughs> what? It's a good thing it just happened to have this, you know, body-sized gap in between it, rendering it useless. Anyway, this is a tough climb. Like, wow, look, one's going this way, the other way. What? <laughs> like he dropped him in some weird other dimension. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the meal. I worked really hard on that tuna casserole. Anyway, after I push this, the city is doomed. And you with it! Okay, but I thought you were using gorillas for that. Well, whatever. You'll never pull that lever, Dr. Krug. I just did. You're through. Arr, he beat my suit red. Now it's green again. A lead bullet through your heart will stop you. I'll... Ugh! Help! The gorillas will blow me up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Blam! Not wham? Okay. So, um... Well, that kind of solved the problem. So if you just touch them a little too rough, they'll explode. I mean, how do you explain Blue Beetles? I mean, well, Dan's fight with it. Well, and he said they go off at a certain time, which, you know, how's that work? I, you know, he coated them with dynamite. I, mm -hmm. Was it like dynamite shampoo or something? I don't know. Anyway, later, you don't say. Okay, we got to read this back backwards. Read all about the Blue Beetle's latest deed. I just did. He's wonderful. That Blue Beetle, you don't say. <laughs> well, anyway, follow further adventures of the Blue Beetle in the next issue. Oh, boy, it doesn't stop here, friends. Next week we'll get, oh, Dynamo. Hmm. And what a bait and switch, you know? <laughs> Oh, well, we'll see what Dynamo's up to. Looks like he forgot to wear pants again. Uh, next week, we'll find out what Dynamo's, again, up to. Uh, next week on Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics. <laughs>